back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Skye and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. I have been on the edge of my seat just waiting to share this space with all of you. Our home office reveal is finally ready. I have been dreaming of this space for so long and I can't believe believe that it is finally finished. I can't wait to welcome you in here and show you what it looks like right now. In this video, I'm going to share what this space looked like before we started doing this project. Now, this used to be the home of house and home before we moved out into our larger office space that's off-site. We used this room. This room housed all of our inventory, our packaging table, everything was done in this space. So it is so cool to see this kind of come full circle and now have this as a space that I get to be creative in and I get to make all of my house and home dreams a reality and make them come to life in this little office. So you'll get to see some before footage and then we're gonna share a couple of quick brief tutorials. We've got a planked ceiling tutorial and also a board and batten tutorial. And then you kind of just get to see the place come to life. We're going to decorate a little bit and I'll show you guys what it looks like now. I can't wait. I hope that you'll subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you love it. All right, friends, let's check out what this space looked like just a couple of weeks ago. Here is our space as it was just completely empty. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, this used to be the home of house and home. So we used to have these walls filled with inventory and a packaging table and basically everything that was house and home. And it is a teeny tiny 10 by 10 foot room. And it's just so cool to see where we're at today and being able to create a little office, almost sanctuary, if you will, just for me to be able to um, work on these dreams and these goals that we have for this business. So the first step was, of course, repairing the walls and just starting to get a vision. We've got popcorn ceilings in here and we have really wanted to cover these up, but we recently got new carpet. We kind of did things backwards and we didn't want to scrape the ceilings and go through the hassle of trying to preserve our brand new carpet. So we decided that we would go ahead and do some plank ceilings in here and I think you guys are going to love how it turned out. It is probably my favorite feature that we have in this space right now. Now, if you were here a couple of videos back, you saw my partnership with Pit Collage. I used their app and their cutout feature to be able to create a vision board for this space. I love to create vision boards because they help me to get a clear idea of how I want to decorate or design a specific space in our home. Here are the DIY project planks that we got from Lowe's and these are what we used for the ceiling. What's really cool about these is they come pre-cut in different lengths. So that was super handy for us. It definitely decreased the amount of cuts that we needed to make. The first thing that Chad did in this project was he went and found the studs in our ceiling. You can use this by using a stud finder. You can sometimes kind of knock with your knuckle on a wall or a ceiling and hear the studs as well by doing it that way. And then Chad wanted to draw some different lines and kind of mark the ceiling so that we had an idea of where those studs fell so that he could make sure that we got some nails in there. As you see these boards here going up, you can tell they're very, very thin. They're super lightweight. They were very easy to work with. So honestly, you probably would be okay if you didn't hit studs with these boards. We did not opt to use an adhesive, but you could if you wanted to, especially if you didn't have popcorn ceilings, um, that adhesive might come in handy. But we were able to hit the studs um, in several different spots. And again, these boards are so lightweight. Um, they honestly, like you could kind of see the thickness of them here. They're so thin and they were just, again, perfect 
for covering up our popcorn ceilings on a budget. All Chad did was use his nail gun here to just secure them to the ceiling. And this process took about one full day. It really wasn't too tedious. Um, again, you can see the different staggering uh, lengths of the boards here. I really like the look. And of course, my husband always being goofy when he's doing projects. You gotta lighten the mood. It's a lot of hard work. He did an awesome job and I'm just so pleased with how these turned out. This project was seriously so simple, just like the ceiling. Honestly, it was more time consuming than anything else, but the board and batten was all done within a day as well. So between the ceiling and the board and batten, that took a weekend. And then of course we had to paint and decorate and all of that, which took another weekend. So it was about a two weekend project for us, pretty much working the entire time. Uh, Chad killed it. He did amazing. I'm so proud of him. And if you have any specific questions about either the ceiling or the board and batten, feel free to leave us a comment down below. I'm not going to make this a super in-depth tutorial because one, the process really is pretty seamless and simple. But two, I know that not everybody is here for that. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have down in the comments below. We did decide to come across on one of the walls with some pegs. I wanted to have one wall where I could feature some of our house and home decor and that I could also use just to style and make cute and pretty. So you'll see us attaching those here in just a moment. Here, Chad is just drilling some holes for our wooden peg hooks. These are shaker pegs from Amazon, and I'll link them down below for you guys. I purchased a huge bag of them a while back, and we've just been using them on various projects throughout our home. Chad is just using an adhesive here to attach the shaker pegs. There's several different ways that you can attach these. Because I'm not going to be hanging anything very heavy on them, this adhesive should hold well. This is what we have in our entryway as well. And I've actually been able to put like my really big full purse and the kids' backpacks on them and had no trouble at all. So this should work for what we need it for. And now we're coming through with some paint. So we just did, um, one of us did some edging while the other did some rolling and then we got the pegs painted. We ended up doing two coats of Pure White by Sherwin-Williams. As I'm sitting here washing this back, I definitely noticed that my tag is sticking out of my shirt. Y'all, you can't win every time, so I apologize if that bothers you. Just pass on through this part, but I think it is fun to watch a project come to life. I like seeing the process of it and I'm learning to enjoy the process. I have always been someone who has tried to rush the middle of all things in life and um, I tend to be just 
less patient and that's something I've been working on and I really enjoy doing this project with Chad and I love getting to see his mind work as he is learning how to do something new that he's never done before and it just is something that I like really admire and a quality that I love about him that he's not afraid to try new things and to push him self out of his comfort zone and um, he's just amazing so anyway I wanted to share that with you guys I hope that you're enjoying the middle of the things that you're going through in life right now as well and now it's time for my favorite part of all projects which is the decorating portion at the end I was able to get some pieces that have been on my wish list for a very long time and I'm so excited about how this space came together with all of the woods and the whites and the greenery. So my vision for this little corner here was to have a spot that either Chad or the kids could gather as I'm working in here and just hang out. I also thought this would be a great spot if we do have any meetings in house, which does happen from time to time. We can sit and dream and plan in this space. And another purpose for this little spot is it's a great filming backdrop and it's another awesome cute little spot for me to style some of our house and home decor like this be kind banner which I absolutely adore This beautiful vintage print is from my friend Essie at a family print shop. She sells downloadable vintage prints and they're stunning. So I will link that down below for you guys. And then over here in my little desk area, this desk I found for $50 on Facebook Marketplace and I got the chair from Target and the cute little sconce lights from Amazon. I wanted to keep things super clean and simple here. I don't like clutter. <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know that. So I really just want a spot for my computer, a little plant, and a candle here so that I am not cluttered in my mind from all the things surrounding me and I can just sit here and focus and get my work done. This beautiful table and lamp are also from Target and I absolutely love the cane detail on there and again just like the woods mixed with the whites it's just so cozy and inviting and I just feel so relaxed when I'm in here.
so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and got a little home decor and design inspiration. Don't forget that I've linked the majority of these products down in my video description below if you would like to shop them for your home. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love to have you join our YouTube family. We post videos twice a week with all kinds of home decor inspiration. Until next time.